Well, hello. Uh, welcome back. This is going to be a quick little tutorial uh, showing off how to download the Autodesk Suite. So the first thing, uh, if you haven't already, you need to make an account. For me, I've already made one, but basically you would go uh, to the, the link that will be in the comments and then you would log in with your information. I've already got one, but uh, if we go back to the page here, it'll say not new to Autodesk, create an account. So you would go there and create it. Uh, make sure to choose your student email your your credentials provided by the college that you go to or uh, any other platform where you have uh, education uh, being taught so once you do that you'll log in here and uh, it's kinda <laughs> the website itself is a little derpy so if you notice there it actually wasn't immediately logged in but it should eventually after you hit sign in you go through the process it should update at some point and once it finally does you'll be here uh, you'll just go through, navigate to whichever ones you're looking for. And if you notice, <laughs> you know, I mentioned a the website's therapy. Well, you can actually see that the images are not loading for some of these. That means it's not going to work. It's really annoying, but uh, this is some new part. Usually it'll load in later, but until then, it usually won't work. If you are having problems, though, just make sure, you know, to refresh. And if you still can't get it to ever work, you can do some of these little filters. And uh, it'll have fewer items. That seems to be the problem is there's too much content and sometimes it just doesn't load properly. So uh, anyways, you'll navigate to whatever you want. And uh, I'm showing off in particular how to download Autodesk Inventor if I can find it. You know, I probably already scrolled by it. No one saw. But no, okay, it's not there. Okay, sad day. It's probably going to be in product design. Yeah, okay. So, uh, once you get to it, you're going to click Get Product, and then it's going to ask you for different versions. Now, if you're doing this for a college, make sure that you're checking to see which version you need. Uh, the version that I want you to install personally is going to be the 2022 version. I upgrade every two years, and that is what we're currently on. So, once you've done that, you'll just hit Install uh, and hit Accept. And what it's going to do is give you an exe file. And this is actually where all the work happens. Now this is on my other screen, so I'm going to drag it over. But it's saying, do you want to allow it? Of course you do. And now we wait. Alright, so <clears throat> it is doing a preparing box here. Once we get it loaded up, I'll uh, skip ahead so we don't have to see all the the uh, waiting time but for now you know it's gonna end up loading up and then it's gonna ask for where you want it to go if you have a preference you can change it but that's where I always do is the default and it's gonna ask if you want to install all this other stuff you don't have to have true view but I would advise you install the other three so that's what I'm gonna do in this case and there's nothing wrong with having all the versions but true view in my experience, if you're learning drafting classes, you don't need TrueView. It's helpful, but for those without the whole suite, which you have as a student, so. So anyway, I'll skip ahead here and uh, I'll report back once it's done. All right, so it's finished and uh, here we are prompted with, uh, please restart your computer to finish. And uh, you know, if you look in the background, it shows everything's checked off. Now, I'm going to try not to restart it, but technically you do want to restart your computer. Uh, but, you know, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to hit Not Now. Let's hit Finish. And let's go ahead and fire it up. So if I scroll through here, uh, it's going to be, usually it's sorted, yeah, as Autodesk Inventor 2022. And then there's a myriad of stuff in here, but what you're looking for is the, uh, the one with the actual title. So Autodesk Inventor Professional 2022. And uh, it does have a little icon. Unfortunately, it's open on my other screen, but you'll see like a, uh, you know, just a square box basically that it shows. And it's opening on the other screen. So <laughs> give me just a second. All right, so we're greeted with this option to migrate settings. Uh, if you have had other versions, then you'll be prompted with this. I do. I only use every other, every other uh, version, so I'm going to actually choose to import and just choose 
Well, you know, I take that back. I don't want to. I want to clear all. You know, the one cool thing with upgrading is there's always new uh, new settings. So let's uh, let's roll with the default. I'll change it later. So anywho, uh, you'll be greeted with this screen. And, uh, you know, if you want to not see this again or you want to see the walkthroughs, this is all here. I'm just going to close it. And at this point, if you hit new and it lets you open up something, <clears throat> then your software is already activated. The reason I'm doing this is because a lot of times uh, what you'll find is when you get to that point where it pops that screen up, you'll get a pop up to uh, let you know you need to activate your software. So in my case, it's already activated. I believe for students, it's activated a little bit differently. Um, you have a serial key. So I'm just going to show you how you would locate that if you do have that problem. And on the off chance that you haven't even made it this far because uh, you couldn't get your account made, one of the com common things that happens is it'll want you to verify that you actually are part of the school. And if you're having that problem, just uh, go ahead and take a screenshot using a snipping tool of your uh, student detail schedule and, you know, maybe also your class schedule, something that shows, uh, it may be a transcript even, but something that shows everything it's asking for in that requirement because it'll say, hey, verify you are actually a student. We need to see this, 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 and this. Just make sure you get enough documents that have all of that and just slap all of that in there in the attachment area. And then, you know, within a day or two, it'll let you do it. Sometimes it's 24 hours. But assuming you're in here and you're doing what I'm doing, let's go to product and services underneath the uh, icon for your account. Now what you'll get from here is a list of all the software that you've used. <clears throat> So again, mine's going to look a little bit different than yours does probably, but essentially what you'll have is uh, you can look for the software that you have. And if you can't find your serial key, which they do email you typically, if you have a serial key, it should show here. Uh, you know, so for mine, it doesn't show up because it's based on just signing in. That's all it takes is that connectivity. But if you're needing a key, this is a second way to find it if you've lost the email or for whatever reason you don't have it. Uh, but that's going to be it. Thanks for watching.